In this lesson, let's go and see in a practical way how we can use a naming convention of variables in X++ programming language. So let's go to jobs over here and create a new job. And let's give a job name to a naming convention. And let's create a new variable of integer data type and name it as a age. Okay, so according to the naming convention that we have learned, a variable name should always start with a lowercase which is over here as uh, we are starting with a lowercase of a it should not start with the uppercase it should not start with the underscore it should not start with a digit or a number so it should always start with a lowercase and a variable should always have some logical name for it so that is a naming convention of a variable and now for the specialized data type of a variable that what we can do is according to the naming convention let's uh, take a specialized data type of a tables of cost uh, let's say cost tables we'll take a cost table over here let's give some tab over here and let's give a name of uh, that a variable as a cost cost table so it should always start with a lower case over here we say and it should always have a logical name which is a cost table here so according to the naming convention for a specialized data type it should be always have start with a lower case and always should have a logical name so we have cost table over here and we have a cost table over here which is uh, starting with a, a lower case for a variable name and let's see for another uh, extended data type let's say cost account so uh, we just copy this one and just keep some tab over here for indentation and i'll just paste this one over here and we will always say as i start with the lower case and we should not start with underscore or we should not start with the uh, uh, any other thing uh, cap uh, all uppercase or underscore or any digit or number but we should always start with a lower case over here and we should always have a logical name for that according to the naming convention of uh, x plus plus programming language which with has been set by a uh, microsoft so that is perfectly fine we use a cost account over here and another thing that we have to know is of uh, for a specialized data type if you want if you want to say a cost table you want to take a multiple time or you want to have a multiple variable name for this cost account then what we can do is uh, we have a cost table over here and what we can see the first part should always start with a logical name of a cost table or any other uh, specialized data type you take the first name should be always start with a logical name and we all can always say that underscore uh, one uh, for the first that we are taking a name and the second if we want to take a multiple time we can always say as a two over here uh, sorry uh, underscore two over here and if you want to take another one we can always say underscore three so which uh, is uh, makes sense over here like cost table underscore one cost table underscore two so we should always have some logical meaning behind the particular variable name that we are creating so for easy understandable for not only for you the programmer but also for other developer that's going to come back and have a look on your code for the code must be understandable for everybody so whenever we are creating a variable we should always have a, a logical name for that one at what's the variable trying to do and what's the variable coming from so we should always have some logical meaning behind a variable name so if we are taking a specialized data type for a multiple variable name then we can create in this way the first part should always start with a logical name and the other the behind part we can have some prefix on it the prefix here the starting prefix should always be a logical name and the behind part we can always keep uh, some a logical name that we can assign to it like one two three or any other meaning that we can assign to a particular variable so this is how we uh, have a basic name a naming convention for a variable of uh, any data type that you want to use in an x++ programming language 
So if you have any question, I need you let me know and I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.